you look behind you on the back right hand side, if you're the kind of fan that you simply want to be associated with the glory and absolutely nothing else, they are the team for you. If you like teams like, like a different type of football, like my Union Berlin fans over here, then you want to go and check out these guys. This is the type of team you go and watch, even though you know they're probably going to lose, but you're still going to shout your troll off for 90 minutes. It's that kind of place. I mean, if you look at the photos of Oktoberfest 40 years ago, uh, there wasn't that many people wearing later hose. 
Like if you wore the later hose at the Oktoberfest 40 years ago, you were probably wearing later hose in 300 odd days of the year. It wasn't just something that you put on for a novelty event. And it's a bit of a shame now, like when you go to the Oktoberfest, people kind of look at you funny if you're not wearing later hose. Because that's, I mean, that's, it's a people's festival. You should be able to literally wear whatever you want to wear. Um, and the Oktoberfest has uh, hose. Maxi Awesome Platz, that is Maxi Awesome there himself, that John Belushi lookalike character, first king of Bavaria. Bavaria became a kingdom under Napoleon. As Napoleon swept eastwards, he made a series of alliances, and the deal struck with Maxi Awesome was the following Give me your army of 33,000 soldiers. In return, I will double your territory, I will make you a king. Areas like Neuschwanstein Castle, if you've ever been there, plan on going there, that becomes part of Bavaria for the first time. Uh, Nuremberg, everything north of Nuremberg and Bavaria, also joins for the first time. So they do quite well, they become a kingdom under Napoleon. The family itself, guys, are called the Von Wittelsbach family. Have any of you ever heard of the Wittelsbach diamond? It's the third or fourth most expensive diamond in the world. Beautiful blue diamond. Family used to own it for an awful long time. They ruled Munich and Bavaria for 740 years. It was the longest running German dynasty of all time. And if you follow the Jacobite or Catholic claim to the English throne, the next in line is actually the leader of this family, Franz von Wittelsbach. Now it'll be a cold day in hell, folks, when a gay Catholic man becomes the king of England, but personally I live in hope. And when it does happen, the Bavarian will rule England. That will be a seismic change for England, guys, swapping one German royal family. <laughs>
girl. Safe, sturdy raft towards seven in a row. They decide to do things differently. We build church, then we get gifted son. And that works in three. The foundation was stolen in 1663. Two years later, the boy was born. It took 100, uh, yeah, 205 years to finish the church. And it was uh, known as the Tiatina Kirka. It is the largest. And it is the largest Baroque church north of the Alps. Do you see the way that she's linked in arm in arm? looking away independent of thought. This is a reflection, guys, of what I was just speaking about with the relationship of Bavaria and Germany. We're linked in arm in arm, but we're looking away. We're looking out for our own best interest. Does that mean they want to leave? Don't. They want to kind of stay with Germany, but they also want to kind of look out for themselves primarily. And that's the kind of idea being broadcast there. A lot of the northern Germans would say the Bavarians are arrogant, and the Bavarians would say arrogant what? We're proud. It's a very thin line between pride and arrogance, folks. Uh, they were not lot to be proud of. It's a very beautiful city, as you've seen. It's a very uh, successful, uh, prosperous region, where they do carry themselves with a certain air of authority. And that's up to you to figure out later on, guys, if it is indeed pride or arrogance. But what I would say to you this folks, that's all for today. Thank you very much for coming along. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, coming in. Thank you. Did I say right? Coming in? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Nice to meet you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. No, that's the flower with Kirka. That's the, uh, the cathedral. Did you know that? Did you see that? Bye-bye. Guys, care. if you're in Munich, find Kevin. Oh a free uh, tour. If you want to go to the ATM, don't go. Step on the deck. It is very small. 